If you have already tried to install Domotics, you may have encountered the same problems as me. The official website and documentation is not super clear, there are several ways to do the same thing, broken links and errors and commands along the way. But don't worry, I succeeded, and I can now show you how to install Domotics on your Raspberry Pi. In theory, Domotics is an interesting tool. Like Home Assistant and other alternatives, it can help you to manage, monitor and automate your smart devices at home. Everything on the same interface, with built-in integrations, plugins, and scripting potential once everything is connected. It works on any Raspberry Pi model, but can also be installed on Windows and Linux computers. It's free and open source, the kind of tool we like here. We'll get back to the interface and my thoughts about this tool later, let's start with the installation process, as you are probably here to know how to install it on your Pi. So, the website is unclear, but in short, there are three ways to install Domotics on a Raspberry Pi. They seem to push the source code, but I don't recommend it, there are easier ways. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see a command line, to download and execute a script for the installation. That's probably the easiest method, especially if you have a Raspberry Pi dedicated to Domotics. Just run the command and the script will do everything for you. In this video, I'll show you the Docker method. I think it's a better choice overall, and you might need some help to do it. Domotics is not available in Raspberry Pi Imager, and there is no image for it. I started with Raspberry Pi OS Bullseye on a 64-bit version, before finding this warning on the wiki. Legacy is recommended, so I flashed my SD card again with Raspberry Pi OS Legacy, in a 32-bit version. You should probably do the same. Check my other video if you need some help for the system setup. Just install and configure Raspberry Pi OS, network, updates, SSH, etc. Business as usual. Then, you need to install Docker, which is not included by default on Raspberry Pi OS Lite. You can find all the commands in the video description, and in the linked article. You can install it with these two commands. Wait a few seconds, and you should be ready to move to the Domotics installation. I didn't do the step to make Docker work for non-privileged users, so I'll use sudo all the time, but feel free to follow the steps mentioned at the end of the Docker installation. There is a simple pull command to use to download the Domotics container on your Raspberry Pi. You can add the version number or name at the end of the pull command to get something specific, but I'll just go with the default here. You can then use Docker Run to start Domotics. There are a few things you can change in the command example, files location, time zone, etc. You can use my command in the description, and adjust it as you want. I lost a bit of time here because the command in the documentation was not correctly escaped for the line breaks. But anyway, you should be able to start Domotics, more or less quickly. Don't forget to use sudo again. After a few minutes of wasted time, I finally got the correct combination and my Docker container started. I still have no idea what the device parameter is used for, but thanks for this perfect documentation. Once Domotics started, you can now access the web interface from your computer. Type the Raspberry Pi IP address, followed by port 8080 if you kept the default values. It's in HTTP, and there is no password by default. The welcome page is rather rudimentary. No device installed, figure it out. Remember the welcome wizard with Home Assistant, auto-detecting all devices on the network? You don't have anything like that with Domotics, good luck. Anyway, you should probably start with the settings. Domotics supports a lot of language, you can switch the theme, etc. I would at least set the location right, and maybe set a username and password to avoid any security issues later on. Having the location set will add the correct date, time and weather in the top of each page, and in the weather forecast. You can then go to the hardware page to connect your smart devices manually. You'll find here a list of supported devices. If you are lucky, your hardware is supported and easy to install. But most probably, you'll need some time to get this right. 
I'll show you how I added my Philips Hue lights, it was the easiest one. The only thing I had to find was the IP address and port of my bridge, as it's not auto-detected. Then click the link button to generate the username, and it was done. Once connected, Domotics can now list and control my lights. I can see all of them in the devices list, add them to the interface with this green arrow icon, and control them from the switches page. But this was my most successful attempt. Philips Hue is listed in the supported hardware, and the installation is not complicated. To be honest, I didn't manage to connect most of my other devices. I tested the same weather API as with Home Assistant, AccuWeather. It didn't work. And you don't really have any info to help you troubleshoot it. I tested to connect my robot vacuum, seeing that Xiaomi is in the list. It didn't work. I even tested to install the Xiaomi plugins. It was a lot of work, I lost a bunch of time on this, and it didn't work. So, don't expect something straightforward with Domotics. You'll probably need to test many different things. There is a forum where you can try to ask for help, and you may also find some documentation, wiki and various websites as Domotics is popular enough. But don't expect to connect everything in 30 minutes and move on with the automation. I know that some of you love Domotics, but it wasn't a great experience for me. After testing Home Assistant only one month ago, I still have in mind how easy it was to add everything on it and create the first automations. I didn't even get to this point with Domotics. And I now better understand the results to my poll in the community tab. Domotics might be a great tool for power users, that know what they are doing, and have some experience with Linux, command lines and scripting in general. But I don't think it's for everyone. Even when you compare the two websites and web interfaces, there is a big difference. It looks like Domotics is the same as in 2012 while Home Assistant has been updated with a more recent user interface. So, if you are just getting started and want to try some home automation projects, I highly recommend checking this other video where I introduce Home Assistant. It should be a better choice for most viewers on this channel.